Hello everyone, Bleach Runner here, and welcome to Doho Shoot the Bullet. This is a different kind of game in the series that, uh, sorry, that I just find really annoyingly hard. Okay, basic menu since this is different. Dip. <laughs> Phone! Sorry about that. It looks like I got the someone got the wrong number. Anyway, where was it? Oh yes, basic menu. There are different scenes for each level. There's a total of ten levels in this game, with like six to eight or so scenes. And replay's pretty much the same. How music room is the same options. Overall the same. As you'd expect from and there's also a help that explains like the how the game works. Anyway, I'm kind of gonna do it in a different minute, but I'll show you the first scene. A basic as in every token, shift is to focus, Eric is to move, but Z this time is to use your camera. This is your method of fighting. If you hold both Z and Shift, you can charge the camera faster. Your object is to avoid the shots and take a picture of the boss. Overall, very simple. Raising can increase the charge time. When you take the maximum of pictures, you basically won. It's as simple as that. That was pretty simple for a first tutorial of the game, as well as the first scene. But what I'm going to do now is, just because this game is annoying hard, and I don't want to like sit here for hours trying to beat a scene, I'm going to just show you replays, one at a time, of each scene I beat. I will do commentary on it. And as of right now, I'll only show levels 1 and 2. So, let's get on with it. I should also mention that this game also features multiple of the boss characters. Level 1 is, of course, Riggle and Rumia. This is overall just a simple move through gap patterns. Level 1 is pretty easy. And Fraps' lag is kicking in, of course. Another really easy one. On to the next scene. Now begins the spell card portion of it. Fireplace and fixed star on Earth. Google will make a sort of shot pen that spreads out everywhere. Overall, pretty simple. Just move through the gaps and take a picture of Riggle. If you can time it right, you can get rid of most of the shots because the camera does get rid of shots as well. Yeah, these early uh, scenes you can uh, charge focus, but later ones you will have a hard time doing so. Just saying. On to the next scene then. Scene one four is Rumia's so darkness sign, dark side of the moon. So you basically move around and fire random shots everywhere, as well as a ring of shots. I'm pretty sure that while she's in the hidden state. You're taking a picture will not work. So yeah, just be wary of that. So anyway, on the next scene then. Scene one five is Ripple's last spell, butterfly sign. Butterfly Storm. This seems to be a sort of reminiscent to Riggle's last hit word. Only a bit, only a lot easier actually.
Just a simple streaming spell. With a few scattered bullets everywhere that you're gonna have to avoid, but it's not hard at all. So anyway then, on to the next scene. Scene 1, 6, and the last scene of level 1 is Rumia's Night Sign Midnight Bird. This spell can be a little tricky, but it's still pretty simple. It's just finding the right gap to go through. Pretty much just another streaming spell. Just adds those larger shots in near the end. Now, I definitely recommend moving to the sides to avoid it. Fortunately, I was able to continue on moving after that miss. So, now that scene was made, on to level 2. Level 2 features this journal as well as another boss that we'll see soon. This non-spell is basically just another streaming spell. Pretty simple for Cerna. She's not really difficult at all. Yeah, sometimes you may want to miss on purpose just to clear up some bullets. And like that, that's the end of her. Now on to the next scene. Scene 2 to teach the other boss of level 2, Letty White Rock. This is overall just a very simple non-spell pattern. And that was pretty much close for me. So on to the next scene then. And I'm sorry if that's getting a bit annoying. Scene 2, 3 begins the spell card portion. Snow sign, diamond blizzard. Overall a, um, I guess, semi-random, semi-streaming spell for Inferno. It's pretty easy though. As long as you don't get caught up in a lot of bullets. To the next scene then. Scene 2 4 is Cold Sign of Cold Snap. That's a very simple random bullet. Nothing much could be expected from Hitletti. This is a pretty easy spell. That's done, on to the next scene. Scene 2 5 is Free Sign Minus K. This is uh, a streaming spell of Cernos, and it's actually pretty difficult if you're not careful. As you can see, the objective is pretty much just to try and stay as close to her shots to graze the bullets, but she adds these other bullets in near the end. Easy, but pretty difficult spell if you're not careful. But with that then, on to the last scene of level 2, and the last scene I'll show for now. Scene 2 6 is Winter Sign, Northern Wind. Overall, it's pretty much, I think, a sort of pure streaming, but a bit more so just random bullets falling down spell. Fairly easy. And of course, I missed there. That's kind of 
bad. I'll take this time to explain actually this let's please is not gonna end with these scenes. I am gonna do all the other scenes. Just don't expect them anytime soon. I will show them when I have a good time to show them. Also, I hope that my county was good being alone for these first scenes. No, if not, I'm sorry. Uh, you will see probably a few guests in some of the other levels. So, pretty much with that ending off, I'll see you in the next levels.